Our target member, Scott, put up a video of him working on Steve Stills' tune, 4 and 20, of course from Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young's album, Deja Vu. And uh, just had a couple tips I want to help him, help him out with. Scott, great job in the first place. You're getting a really good tone. You're hitting the notes really nice nice and strong with your right hand. That's, that's really important. Uh, there are a couple things that you can work on. One is, at the end of each measure, you have a little more time. You can let go of the chord a little sooner to get to the next one. As you're hitting those last two notes, especially the last note with your thumb and then the last one with your index finger, start moving sooner to the next chord. You're kind of hanging on to the chord a little too long, like this. And, and so that's making you kind of rush. You're always, you're always feeling like you're, you're in a hurry to get to the next chord. And along those lines, when you come into this part, when you get up to here, watch out for this at the end. The last thumb and finger, you're actually playing those a little bit out of time. I think you're doing this. Jumping your thumb so that it comes in on the and and your finger comes in on the, on the, on the fourth beat to try to give yourself more time to get down here. So it shouldn't sound like this. It should sound like this. So very calm and relaxed, making sure your thumb doesn't rush into that last bass note. And during that time, you're taking your time to get back down to the next chord. So your hands have to work just a little bit more independently, being able to keep that going while you're still while you're moving to the next chord. So those two things will will um, kind of are the, are the next step with this song.